he chose the men to fight with him. And even when he was still unsure, God allowed him to hear dream of his overcoming victory. And in chapter 7 and verse 9 of the same Judges, it says that, And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, that is unto Gideon, Arise and go down into the host, for I have delivered it into your hand. Bless the name of the Lord. Um, but if thou fear to go down, go to Pura, and thy servant to the host. Bless the name of the Lord. So even if we don't feel confident to fight when God give us or tell us something to do, God is always going to send a confirmation. And sometimes the confirmation, when the confirmation comes, it comes in a dream, it comes in a vision, it comes in a song. Somebody just come and say something to you because he tell you to go and do something. And we are so fearful in doing it that we just put our, just um, as if we want to go into a corner because we don't know that God is still with us. He can equip us. He's never going to give us something or tell us something to do without the proper equipment. So let, let us be confident in God. And God will help us to fight and come out victorious. God gave us a mission and then he will send the confirmation. He promised that he will never leave us and he promised us that he will never forsake us. And he, he won't allow any of us to feel embarrassed. Listen to the name of the Lord. So Gideon was successful. He overcame with the power of God, with just a few men and not the multitude. God knows how, listen, when it comes to God, God don't deal with the majority. He deals with the minority. And sometimes we feel as if we cannot do it alone. But you and I alone with God can do mighty and marvelous things with the power of our own, with, with, with the power of God backing us up than with the multitude. Gideon, he chose his, with his eyes and he looked out some people that are muscular. And when he chose, God chose over for him. God chose over for him. Because sometimes we, we look at we use we use the eyes to look and to see. Sometimes um even in, in, in the church, some persons are overlooked because they look soft, because they don't look like say boy, they have the body, they, they, they don't have the voice. And so because they do not have the voice, they are not chosen. When you call on them to speak or to say something, sometimes they slutter or stutter, yes, yeah, stutter. And they they, they they cannot push it out as some persons can. But how often times the one who are on pedestal and we, 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 they, 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 they preach and they, 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 they either call it or they blow fire. And then in the latter end, you hear some things that those persons were doing. But they seem like a humble soft person who can't even talk and put them two words together good enough. Those are the ones are still there, secretly in their prayer room, praying and asking God to be merciful upon the church, to be merciful upon the pastor, to be merciful upon the deacon. You know, so many a times those like a small one in a them small corner, just as old Gideon was in his small corner. He knows that the media night was going to come up. So what he was doing, he was in his corner preparing. And because he was in his corner preparing, God look at that and, and, and God know that there was something in this man. Just the way God is looking out at some of us this morning and say, even if you're not called upon to speak a word, even if you're not called upon to pray, but in your in your in your closet, in your in your, in your private time, you take time out and you pray. Bless the name of the Lord. Now the the force was with Gideon and his army. But the thing about it, we are different now and more powerful now than it was in those times of Gideon. Why? Because now the Spirit of God 
is not angels that are guiding and, and leading us into battle but what the spirit of god is living now inside of us so now we are more powerful because the spirit that was leading them it wasn't inside of them why because jesus christ of nazareth he didn't come yet so it's when jesus came bless the name of the lord is when jesus came when he died he said that i am going to the father and because i am going to the father i am going to send the comforter and the comforter is now going to live with you so they do not have gideon don't have the the, the experience that we have now of the holy spirit living inside of us is that angel glory to god come and sit down past stone and talk to him but no even when we are lying down in our bed the holy spirit can prick us because what it is not the the, the, the i who live it's the christ who lives in us and the holy spirit equip us bless the name of the lord sometimes they want to go somewhere and the spirit of god prick us and we say no we're not going and then in the latter part we have to say thank you jesus i did not go the spirit of god dwells inside of us bless the name of lord greater greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world bless the name of the lord so gideon fight and he was successful and there is a part of um of the scripture you know that i really love and i look into when the spirit of when when, when the angel told him that he had to break down the the the, the 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 um the false god that they were worshiping this father they were worshiping and because of fear he, he decided that he's not going to do it by day he's going to do it by night there are many situations that we have we can't take d and do it you know we can't take d and do it and the thing about it even though this man he was afraid he chose a time comfortable to for him to do the work of god so when god asks us or tell us to do something if we are afraid to do it in the day do it in the night it is it, the, the time that you do it god still look into it because what you do it there is another scripture that is in the in the bible i'm not i know it is in the new testament wherein god um jesus was talking to this man and he was talking about this man and his son and what he said this man has two sons and he asked the son to do something the two of them and one promised him faithfully and said yes i am going to do it but in the end he did not do it and one said i am not going to do it but in the end he did it and looking into it there are many times that we choose not to do something but someone is always there to do it let us trust in god no matter what the situation is so when gideon fight and he and he, and he win he wanted to share his victory because what when we overcome we want to give a testimony we want to share it with somebody we do not want to keep it to ourselves so in chapter 8 and verse 13 going down to 20 <clears throat> sorry in in verse in chapter 8 and verse um verse 13 he said gideon the son of Joash returned from battle before the sun was up and he caught a young man of the of succot and inquired of him and he described him the prince of succot and the elders thereof even three score and seventeen men and he came to the men of succot and said behold zeba and zalmona with whom he did upbraid at me saying are the hands of zeba and zalmona now in thy hand that i should give bread unto the men that are weary and he took the elders of the city and the thorns of the wilderness and briars and with them he taught the men of succot and he beat them down and he beat down the tower of penuel and slew the men of the city there and said unto zuba and zalmona 
what matter of man were they whom he slew at Tabor? And they answered, as thou art, so were they. Each one resembled the children of a king. And he said, they are my brethren, the son of my mother. As the Lord liveth, if he save them alive, I will not slay you. And he said unto Jephthah, his firstborn son, up, slay them. And this is my topic this morning, which I did not say before. But the young man drew not his sword, for he was fair, because he was a youth. But the young man drew not his sword, for he was afraid, because he was but a youth. The young man didn't draw his sword. Young man did not draw his sword. Ministers got victory. Ministers speak the word. I can tell of Pastor Gregory when he tell if he just slap off the enemy head. I mean, tell of his story how he knock enemy and other ministers on this very platform. Their encounter, they tell you what they do because the scripture. They have on their experience, but guess what? We are afraid. They, 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 the Bible says we must write the vision and make it clear so that the others are coming can see. And so men who have fought and won because of Christ, and they are telling you, if you have a headache man in the name of Jesus, rebuke the idiot. But what? We are afraid to pull the sword. The word of God is in our mouth. He said we overcome by the power of our testimony. The word of God, it is alive. It is, a, it, it, it is as a two-edged sword. It cut a sun that you born tomorrow. But we are afraid to draw our sword because we think that we are not good enough. The young man had the victory in his hand, but he was afraid to draw his sword on the platform this morning you have the victory in your hand but you are afraid to say thus said the lord and to just cry out the blood of jesus and to say in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i rebuke you you have the victory in your hand but you are afraid to draw your sword hallelujah hallelujah don't be afraid fight don't be afraid of the faces fight the whole should encamp against you be confident in god and fight because god is not going to leave you in the wilderness by yourself bless the name of the lord don't be afraid to fight god is with you what you have in your mouth I think um, it, it was it was Moses, the, the Bible said, um, God said, what you have in your hand, use it. What you have in your mouth, what you have in your heart, the word of God that is living, it is alive. Remember, the scripture tells that God spoke things into existence. He said, let there be light, and there was light. And the same power that is in God, God has given us our portion. He said, all power is given unto me and give you the power. So don't be afraid to fight. Don't be afraid to pull out the sword. Don't be afraid to speak the word. The word is alive. If you do not say it, it won't happen. If you think it, it won't happen. You have to utter it out of your mouth. Bless the name of the Lord. Supposing God was going to think about the world and say they, they, they think about all the things that he wants. You think it would come into existence? No, but you speak the word. Let there be light and light appear. When he stand up at Lazarus grave, he never turn up. Then I think the Lazarus are come up in, open up his mouth and say, Lazarus. And Lazarus hear the voice and Lazarus come forth. You're not using the physical sword, but you're using the spiritual sword, the word of God. Victory at your door, but you're afraid to draw the sword. God Almighty. Healing is right standing at your door just as for you to open up your mouth. 
but you close your mouth. Mountains of problems waiting to be called down, but you're afraid to open your mouth. Spiritual breakthrough to come forth, but you're afraid to open up your mouth. The two kings will let you kill off for, the, for, 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 for the, the final victory. And the young man was afraid to pull out his sword because he was afraid. Bless the name of the Lord this morning. Use what you have. Faith in God and the power of the word. The word says that what things soever you ask the Father in my name. That's the scripture. You know what? That's what Jesus said. Whatever you ask the Father in my name. That is the key, the name of Jesus. So when we say in the name of Jesus, remember when we pray and we finish, we don't pray. We say in the name of Jesus. We never say in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. He said in the name of Jesus. That is what the scripture says. Bless the name of the Lord. So we continue to be confident in God. Just open up your mouth, man. Open up your mouth and don't be afraid. And if you're afraid, just as how, how um, Gideon was afraid, if you're, you're afraid to do it at day, because you know what? Nobody see you do it at night. You're afraid when time, when time you see the multitude of crowd because you know what? Nobody fi, um fi stone you. You have one wilderness so you can go and ball out and cry out. So when you come at church, so the man and you, everybody you cry out and you ball out. You cry for the situation where you didn't know about yesterday, where you never do. So Sunday morning, you go tear down the wall with your shout. But we are afraid before the crowd, and we are afraid when we come to church. Sometimes when we come to church, it come like you have to use vice grip to try to pull out some praises out of the mouth of the people. And 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 and, and each and every time you come on the platform. Pastor, pray for me. Minister, pray for me. This happened and that happened. But yet you have the power in your hand. What you have in your hand. Draw out your sword, man. I use it because we are fighting in the name of the Lord. We have victory. But we sit down on our victory. Be confident with God today. Don't be afraid to pull out your sword and fight. You have hands to war. It was David giving God thanks that he giving him a thanking thing hand because in teaching hand how to war and in teaching finger how to fight. God will not forsake none of us. And once we stand up on the word of God, we will. We have to have the victory because the name of Jesus Christ is a strong tower. Pain I trouble you. Come on, man, pull out your sword. Sickness. Pull out the sword. Fear, pull out the sword. Discouragement and people talk bad about you. You know, if say nobody say nothing bad about you because as somebody says something bad about you, either you're not go back at church or you know, feel not like you want God again because of God they disappoint you. So you stop. Come on, man. Don't be afraid. Pull out the sword. The weapon of our warfare, they are not carnal. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. His Hallelujah. hands, you, you have your, your husband and your wife problem situation look 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 what it did happen to to um to sarah and abraham remember you know abraham married to sarah sarah actually made we have picnic for the man because him could she couldn't have none but problems start arising there how do you think the woman do you sit down and bali bali and not do nothing the woman not jouting sweat sir and when time he, he, he talked to the talk to his husband and say, you know what, this is a woman in a, in a house again. You believe saying this, sit down and cry, cry like how some of us sit down and cry, cry. We not talk to God, we, 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 we not talk. He talked to it and the woman come out of the house. So even if you have if you have um problem in your marriage, come on, man, pull out this word. Woman, I get trouble with your husband, pull out your sword. Pull it out, nobody keep it at your side. And every day we sit down with ball, ball, we foot a hat we, and we don't know if he uses this word. Sometimes I just, I, um, the enemy just have it like a bouncing ball over us. Because you see, so we have the, 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 the sword, we have the power. Greater is he that is in us. All power is given unto us. But we sit down and we are afraid to use it. Why are we afraid? 
if, if, if a host is with us, why are we afraid? Use what you have, man. What you have in your hand, use it. You don't have to have the whole entire Bible. You, know, you, want, you, you, want, you want one verse. You're not even having no Spotify because you know saying that the Bible use it. Because you have some person, man, they can't tell you which part this year, find from which part, from, from Genesis to Revelation, until you said John 3 16 said that, and then that. And then true, because you can't flip it out like that, you feel as if you're inferior. You're not inferior. The God is with you. There was a man in the Bible, I think it is in Acts, when, 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 when this, this woman, when he got saved, he was speaking based upon what he think. And then now I think, I, I'm not, I don't want to call any name, but this woman was in there. And when time the woman heard what he's speaking, he said, where you hear that? He don't know about him attack something. And then this woman could take him and he would sit him down. I wish somebody could, 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 could um, help me and tell me where that phone I, 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 and tell me about the person. And he take him and sit him down. And when he sit him down and he teach him the word of God. Amen. So the thing about it, when you have your little piece of a for God so love the Lord, you're alone, you know. No look upon anybody and your soul that use it. And your soul that use what you have. Get up and walk, you know, and it will work. Bless the name of the Lord. Look, look, look at look at this. Sometimes we feel as if what we have it is not good enough. I'm sure you can remember this man at the a name and in name, and he had a sickness. And when he heard about the prophet. He inquired of him. But when the prophet told him what to do, he just he said he shouldn't tell him that. But the thing about it, eventually he went to do it and it worked. This morning, try it, it will work. Try it, it will work. It might look foolish and stupid. Try it and it will work. If 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 if, if the spirit says to you, Go and put your hand on the wall. Bless the name of the Lord. Get up and put it on the wall. Because guess what? That wall where you put it on could be a situation in your life where you put your hand on it and say, Me, I am more than you. The blood of Jesus is against you. Bless the name of the Lord. So, when time you feel as if you're inferior with you and God, you're not inferior. You're not inferior. The woman of the, the well, he tried the living water and it worked. What you have in your hand, use it, it will work. Lazarus came forth, it worked. Peter, when him going into the upper room and the man turn up, suppose if, the, if these men never use a sword that they have, supposing these men were afraid to pull out their sword because they feel say they are not good enough. What you think would happen to us? You think we would have a, a um assurance to to be reading the Bible and say, boy, if it worked for Peter, it will work for me. If Moses do it, me can do it. If Jesus says, whatever I ask the Father in His name, it will happen. It can happen. It must happen because He's going to Father. Listen, uh, if no, these no, men yeah. didn't have their experiences, tell me how you think we could be reading about it. How Sister Mary could be telling you this morning, say so you must pull out the sword and not be afraid. And when you chop the enemy, nobody chop off your hand because you have one left to punch you. When you chop, don't chop off your foot because you have two hands. We box you over. But when you chop off the enemy, make sure so you go off your head. Aim for your head. And if you can't catch it, the, the head, blind the two eye force. Because when you blind the two eye force, you know, say so you will have the upper hand. Amen, over the enemy. Don't be afraid to knock the enemy and take him out of your not, not send him around your backyard because you're not even want him, you know, want him as your neighbor. Because if he go over the next door, he might just end up reach back over you. We, we are enemy slayer. 
we are enemy slaves. When Peter going into the upper room and he said, me not have silver, me not have gold, but a women have me a gear in the name of Jesus. Suppose if he never draw the sword, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the word. Suppose if he never draw the word. And then what? The man get up and walk. It work. It work. Blind receive their sight. It work. Draw out your sword. Don't be afraid. The blood of Jesus covers us. It is he that is in us. And because he is in us, there is nothing, there shall be nothing impossible. Nothing. What is nothing? Nothing at all, no impossible when it comes to God. I have never, I can testify of that. I have never had a situation that I pray to God and don't get an answer from God. Because even if he not answer me, will answer me. Bless the name of the Lord. I remember, I can give testimony. I remember my husband, he have a knee problem. And when time me see this man a walk, I may look for myself and me say, then me young woman, I go, I, I go have this man a walk and have a time to look good. And I prayed about it. I prayed about it. And one night, you see, I had a dream that I held his knees and I was squeezing, I was squeezing. And so long, a long thing just coming out like a worm. And I was just squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. And brethren, this morning, my husband, I walked on into it. I don't even know when time he get the healing. But I know I tried it and it worked. Amen. Oh Pull out God. your sword, Amen. man. Hallelujah. Pull out your sword. I remember. I remember in COVID, COVID, COVID was well ripe. Well ripe, but in a drop off a tree, it well ripe. And I took two weeks from work. These two weeks I took from work, it was just in time for me to hear that I have COVID. I don't even, I, I don't know how COVID feel, but I heard that I have it because it tested I have it. And my husband came in the Friday, wasn't feeling good. And the Saturday, he went to work and he came back. When my husband came back um, Saturday morning, I normally wake up early to read Bible and pray. So when I woke up in the four o'clock hours, he woke up with me and he went to the bathroom. And he called me, but the call I know it, he wasn't feeling well. Virgin, when I went in there, in the bathroom, he just said, no, he no, he no feel good. He had no feel good. And, and um, I was there with one rag. I um, try to keep him cool because he has a temperature. And I was there trying to, you know, keep him cool. And one of the time, he just got up. He was sitting on the toilet, bending over. And he just sat up straight. And the look on his eyes, I realized that it, this is not normal. And I start call Kevin, and Kevin now answer me. And when we start licking some good lick, the man not answer me. When tell me look, I drop the man drop. In 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 lip peel peel like there is no blood. You open the eye, the eye not move. And I knock the man. You see, the man not hear nothing. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I take up the phone and every number me I try to call. Nervousness, but me can't find one. And I am telling you, I come you see, man. And I opened it the, the outside. Never um it was still dark because that was about in the 4:30 hours. And I opened the, the, the two door, the side door and the front door. And I start to pray. Virgin, if I tell you what I pray about, I am telling you a big lie. But I am telling you I pull out the sword that morning. And when time me shit me, I am start lick left, right, and center. I don't know which part of the enemy catch the morning. But when me turn around and look, my husband was sitting back up. And to tell you the truth, I, I don't know if I felt fear. Is when I saw him get up and come out and me ask him if he all right. And he said yes. And he asked me what happened. And I was telling him. And you know what he, so, he said to me when he, when he came around? 
He said, I do not know what happened. They knocked the lick when me gave him, the box when me gave him, no feel nothing. But he could say that he saw me running out a man out of the house. He saw me tracing out a man out of the house. Me never see no man. Me, all me know, so me shake my eye. I'm bridging a fling some sword. I don't know which part of the enemy get licked that the man, but I know he gets some good lick because what the enemy came in like a flood. But when I start lift up the name of Jesus and plead the blood of Jesus that morning, I can testify this morning that I had the victory. Victory can be any one of us. It belongs to any one of us. God never give the pastor the victory. Amen. He never give Hallelujah. evangelist the victory. He never give give this a minister that the minister visit. He gave it to each and every one of us. So if this young man did draw his sword for kill off the two last king, because guess what? You see, if those two king they, their lives were saved, they going to build up a battalion a, um, a army again. And guess who they're going to come after? So don't kill the enemy and say, if you now go out there and come back with company for you. Kill him before he go out. Bless the name of the Lord. Pull up the, um, the armor. Draw out your sword and fight in the name of Jesus. Even if you don't know which part to knock, knock somewhere because he must knock him out. When time um, David, you take up in stone. He, he, he take up it in the name of Jesus. And when time he let you go, he lick right which part if he go. So if, even if you fling it and you, you know things say to go to the right place, God is going to direct it. So do not be afraid to pull out your sword, man, and fight in the name of Jesus. Because what we are children of God, and God is not going to know that you use his name. May I go say, boy, God, Jesus, say, use at my name. You, you, you shall cast out demon. And when time he say, in the name of Jesus, and in the work, who them I go laugh after? Then I go say, you are your, you are your, your arm. Your, 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 your master, your, your, your praise don't have no use. God is saying, no, not in word, now go out and you know, accomplish. Every one of them. When time you say the blood of Jesus, it will work. When you say in the name of Jesus, it is going to work. Because Jesus' name is the name that is above every other name. And in now make your name go down and make people laugh after you. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Continue to fight the good fight. What we are doing is no ritual because the same God we, 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 we perform now is able to perform, to, 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 to perform tomorrow. The same word that I use, you can use it and it will work. I have other testimonies where we can talk about of God, how he overcome. With, he, he, he caused me to overcome. Why? Because his words are true. His words are true. This morning, my brethren and friends, just remember, continue call up on God. Don't you ever be afraid to pull out your sword and use it. You are told to use it for a good reason. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. Now sit down and wait for the angel to come talk to you. Why? Because he's not going to come and talk to you. He's in you. And the scripture reminds us that greater is he that is in us than he that is of the world. What I'm going to ask us to do this morning, if you don't think it will work, just try it. Just try it. You see, if you have a headache, just look into it and say, boy, you know, so me hear somebody say, boy, them pray for they, they hear them lay hand on their head and then pray for it. And it work. <laughs> Try it. Try it. It will work. If you have a foot problem, you, if, you, your papers tie up in, in a, some um government institution. And every time you feel go do something, you feel like say, in our work, you hear something different. Try the word. Let me tell you one different testimony as me say that. I remember where I'm living. I started my house. And truly, me not have no plan because me never have no money if you make no plan. And 
during the same COVID, when me and my husband sick and then so we have COVID, um, was here and one man drove up at the road, asking us both plan and said we must stop bill. And me I tell you the truth, I was worried about it. And I went down the back of the yard one morning. And I said, Lord, you give Abraham I said, as far as I can see, all of that is yours. And I said, my God, this that I have is not, I don't have to even have to fling this stone. Because even if me throw it, it passed the piece, the, it, it, it passed the, the, um, the line that I have. Just a little piece me have. And God, you have to hold me back because me not have no plan. Bridging, I went to my bed the, 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 the same night or some night during the same week. And when I, I had a, a, a vision and I was at the front part of my home and I saw a piece of paper and a breeze just blew on the paper, gone way down the back. And when, when, when I'm saying, Lord Jesus, Kevin, the paper gone, the paper gone, we need some air and long after the paper. When I was running after the paper, I was at the back of the hospital at the back of the hospital. And I am running down the paper and the paper run gone. Bridgerin, I went out spallings one day because somebody was telling me about one, one um, counselor I could go and talk to. And when I go and talk to the man, the, the man said, nurse, go and go build your house. Go and go build your house. That's a victory, you know. Remember, so me talk to Jesus, talk to him during the same week and at the same time i could get the vision the paper run gone no but i may like either to run down the paper but god in his mercy and grace and power me, me not catch the paper because sometimes you know god i give you the victory and we are run down after my god you ever hear somebody say poor me you call it down on yourself and me that i run down the paper lord have mercy me can make it you are run down the paper. It is running away from you. You run it down. Come on, man. Pull out your sword. Stand up in the name of Jesus. It was in the same week. They called me at work. Come to office. When I went to office, they were saying um, there was some mistake in my salary. I didn't know nothing about it. It was, it, it was a mistake on their account. They pay me less. And when I go, they said um they're going to reimburse me. I didn't even know that they hold me much less to you know say um money did shot it in my salary. Tell me who whose report will you believe this morning? Whose report will you believe this morning? Sometimes God about the situation run from you and you are running down. What make you are running down if God take it out and you make it go on? Anything leave you, do not run after it because God, listen, God is not going to take from you what you need. God is not going to take away from you the things that you need. Amen. You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. If you are there, even if it, if it is not even your season, you're going to be fruitful. Don't run after what is leaving you. Go on your knee and pray. Pull out your sword. Pull out your sword. Stand up with great confidence. Because the God who sees, the God who knows, is never going to allow the enemy to have victory over you. You believe that God has got to stand up and make the devil laugh and say, me win. I want to feed children sit on a ball because the, the enemy win. The enemy can't win none at all. He will never win. And so when the man never jolt in sore because he's afraid, who you think do it? Who did you think um, um killed Zab, Zab, Zabula? What was his name? Um, the, two, the, the two king, Zam, Zamula and, and Ziba. They half a dead. They have to dead because if you do not kill them, they're going to come back at you with army. And guess what? Because they know you're chatted already. They're coming back for you in the way that you're not even um, expect. So this morning, my brethren and my friend, if you have unsafe children, pull out your sword. 
If you have unsaved spouses, pull out your sword. If there are any unsaved on the, the platform this morning, let me tell you, God is real. And let me tell you, if you do not get saved, you're going to hell. No fixing up in that. And let me tell you too, hell is real and heaven is real. Let me tell you, it is not a lifestyle. It is a God style. Because guess what? Sometimes we come and the things that we feel that is okay, it is not okay. Don't let pastor tell you that it's okay. Don't let mother tell you that it's okay. Read the word. The word is what fix us. And that's the reason why oftentimes we get in trouble because we are trying to fix the world. We cannot fix the world. Is the word. Is the word. Is the word. He sent his word and it healed our diseases. Sin is a disease. And anytime sin come in your life, any at all, the first thing you do, you start to lie. Then guess what? You're going to start stealing. You're going to start misbehaving. You're going to start do something else because what? Sin is a virus. And when it comes, it tries to take over your life. Get rid of sin out of your life. Let us not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage once we know so we come out. Not look over there, because hell real. And let me tell you one thing. Your belief and my belief cannot change the scripture. So if I believe that it is right and the Bible says it is wrong, it doesn't change the word of God. Because we cannot change God, but God can and will change us. And if you do not take it by will, trust me, it's not going to be easy on your part. Before you die, seek the Lord. Only salvation, only salvation can help us in this time. And again, we are children of God. We are not in this as a ritual. Hell to shun, heaven to gain. If you think this life that we're living is a show off or is a play, you're at the wrong place and you're not get saved yet. Hell is real and heaven is real. And let me tell you, in case you don't remember, Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. We hear each and every morning on this platform and other platform, pastor preach till they sweat. Evangelists, whomever speak the word and we feel good about it and we say, what a word. But the word do not change us because we do not want to be changed. Amen. Amen. To know that we're living this life. And when we stand before Christ, our maker, because heaven jubilee and we feel good because we are saved. But when we stand before Christ, he say, I do not know you. This man in the scripture, he was it, not one. They, they, um, they went out on the battlefield and the mission field. And when they come back, they felt so good. And they were saying, master, master, even the very demon, the devil, they were subjected to us. He said, don't rejoice at them that are subject to you, but make sure that your name is in the book of life. This man, he was standing. He said, Lord, didn't we not cast a demon in your name? He said, I do not know you. I do not know you. When we stand before Christ, our maker, what will our answer be? It's not just the singing and shouting, my brethren. Will your name be written in the book of life? Is your name in the book of life? If it is not there, if it is not there, sinners, if it is not there, sinners, if it is not there, hell burn hot. Hell fire burn hot. I do not want to know how hot is going to be, but I am telling you based upon scripture, it is hot. Before you die, seek the Lord. Pull out your armor. Pull up your sword. 
and fight to the very last. All winter, you don't have no life in your body. Just, just lick your sword, sword man. Just um, have it reeling over you like that. But the enemy says, you know, you, you know, all gone it. Life did it. Wield the sword over you, man. Wield the sword over you. But don't be afraid to pull out your sword. The scripture says, and he said unto Jetha, his firstborn, get up, slay them. But the youth drew not his sword, for he feared because he was yet a youth. Don't be afraid. When God is with you, you have majority. Have a good, blessed, and a godly day because God is with us. Thank you this morning for hearing me. I pray, I pray, I pray that this word will touch somebody this morning and it will affect a change in your life. You know yourself more than anyone else. So go pray for yourself because you know where you're going to talk to God about. Mother Madden always saying have certain prayer in a prayer church in prayer over yard because think you can pray certain things at church. You have the yard prayer, you have the, the church prayer. You know everything about you. You know your 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 uprising, you know you don't fall in, you know your fault. You know them because how oh, many times God talked to you about it. God talked to you about it. But still yet you're like a Gideon Lord. Make it make the fleece wet today. And and, and and I'll believe you. When the fleece wet tomorrow, you say, make the ground wet, and then I'll believe you. You know everything that you're doing. You know everything that you're doing. God show it to you already. So stop playing around. God talked to you how oh, many times over and over, but still you're playing a tic-tac game. Salvation is not tic-tac. If you're not stop it this morning, hell is waiting at your door. And guess what? You don't have to wait for God to come because you can go before God come. So make it right before the time of too late. Have a blessed day. Hallelujah. Thank you all for listening. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Back to you, Miss Moderator. Bless her, bless her, Lord. Bless her, Lord. Bless her, Lord. If you have received a word this morning, people of God, can you just go ahead and say, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everything, every bit. If you don't, if you don't get anything, it's because sister, let's grab a hold of everything. Hallelujah! What a word this morning. Um, sister Tana, sister Tana, sister Annika, sister Yannick. I'm gonna ask one of you ladies to pray for the woman of God. Sister Tana, sister Annika, or sister Yannick, who is able to do so. Sister Yannick Williams, summon. Sister Tana Foster. Or Sister Anika Dunkley. Either of you ladies are able to pray for the woman of God. Go, go, go. Thank you, Sister. Father, Annika. we thank you this morning. We thank you for your love. We thank you, my God, for your grace. We thank you for your woman servant, mighty God, who you have poured into, my God, and she have poured into the lives of your people this morning. I pray, oh God, that you will fill her up again, mighty God. I pray that, God, you will surround her, mighty God, with your angels, angels of protection, mighty God, to encamp around her this morning. I pray for her home where she lives. I pray, mighty God, that you, oh God, will dwell there. God, I pray that you will help her, that, mighty God, her store basket may never go empty. 
my God, I come against every war that wants to mighty God fight against her in her mind this morning. For Lord, we recognize that the enemy, mighty God, want to attack our minds. But this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my God, we pray that you will build a fence around her this morning. I pray that God, your Holy Spirit, mighty God, will stir something on the inside of her this morning. I pray that your fire, mighty God, will live on the inside of her this morning, Father. I pray that, God, you will pour out, mighty God, your spirit upon her in this season. My God, I pray that she will not miss another opportunity this morning. My God, she will not miss another season in her life today. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that whatever, mighty God, her desires are this morning, that, Lord, you will work upon them this morning. God, I pray, mighty God, that as she go out that God, you will protect her from the hand and the plans of the enemy. I pray, mighty God, that we come against every accident over her life. Uh, whatever area, mighty God, of work she does, I pray that she will excel this morning. Uh, for Lord God, you will give her the anointing of to, to excel. Uh, my God, whatever was hard for her now become easy because the anointing of easy rests upon her this morning. I pray this morning, oh God, that you will fill her cup, my God. Let it overflow this morning. Help her to walk, mighty God, in a new season. Oh God, a new season to be empowered. It's a new season to be blessed. And it's a new season to carry your fire. My God, I pray this morning, oh God, that whatever she finds her hands to do, that it will be blessed. I pray you will bless her to be a blessing this morning. I pray that God chariots, oh God, a fire will encamp around her, around her home we seal her with your blood this morning every word that have been spoken against her life we trample them we paralyze them we cut them down my god everything in her bloodline my god from her generation this morning we cut it off in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and we call for mighty god that lord you will help her to go out mighty god and to be a record breaker in this season i pray mighty god that because of her mighty god God, souls will be blessed, souls will be ministered to. And I pray this morning that God, you will help her to walk under the anointing and to carry your glory, mighty God, and that she will be a carrier of your presence this morning. Let not the enemy laugh this morning. I pray that she put her trust in you, mighty God. You will not put her to shame this morning, but God, you will build her up and you will fill her up again. Have your way this morning as we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning, God's wonderful people. Amen. Well, bless the Lord. I'm so happy that you are on the wake up list. I'm on the wake up list this morning. So God be the glory. What a word from the woman of God this morning. I am truly blessed. Bless the Lord. I'm truly, truly blessed this morning. Hallelujah. But the young man drew not his sword because he was a youth. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Bless you, woman of God. Bless you and thank you so much for sharing your testimony and the word this morning. People of God, we are an overcomer. Don't sit there. Hallelujah. And say that pity a part of yourself and say that, oh my goodness, oh, I need help for fight. You fight. You get up and fight. Mighty God, you get up and pull out that sword and fight. Mighty God, this morning I am feeling really happy and really feel like me feel like i'm a winner this morning bless the lord we know that the win conference is coming up and we will definitely be praying for that conference and also i have a surprise i don't know um is there is there anyone on the platform who wants to go to the to the win conference but you know things kind of a little shaky on your end is there anyone who wants to go to that conference Anybody on the line this morning who likes to go on the conference to the conference? Anybody here? Anyone? Male or female? You want to go to the win conference? And you know, you might not have everything. Is the so conference is on is this on Zoom? Because I'm not here I'm in Canada. Is it on Zoom? This is gonna be on Zoom also. Uh, are you I don't know? I want to go, Minister. Okay, okay, you want to go, Sister Ellen and Sister Judith Frenton, you want to go also? 
Yes, I do, but I'm in Canada. I don't know how to. Yes, man. If you are in Canada, man, we we reach you anywhere you are in the world. Wind will be there with you wherever you go. Yes, it will be on. Yes, it it be on okay. 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 Thank you. Yes. Yes. All right. So, for the persons who want to go, anybody else who wants to go to this? Um, anyone else? Anyone else want to go to this conference? I hear Sister Elena. Anyone else? It's interesting to go, but you know, things don't really come in place as yet. You are there. Don't be afraid to say anyone else, brave and mighty. <laughs> Sister Lex, morning. I mm -hmm. I was with a resident, so I did not hear about the um the conference. Could you repeat? For me, please. Uh, if there's anyone who likes, um, I would like to go. You would like to go to the conference, Sister Anika. All right, Sister Anika, want to go to the conference. Sister Ella, want to go to the conference. All right, people of God, think we are all getting shy, but guess what? This morning, someone has sponsored somebody from Faith Walk. You know, anyone at all who knows the, a question that I'm about to ask. Um, from Faith Walk, you will be definitely getting a prize to go to this conference. But before I ask the question, let me just go ahead and do this. Women of Power Improving Nicely is having their inaugural conference on Saturday, November 18, 2023, at Holiday Haven, Manawa Bay, Sejan, from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Under the theme, Unearthing the Winner in You. Come hear the powerful women of God. Conference host, Pastor Nicola Maxwell Johnson, consultant obstetrician and gynecologist, Dr. Michelle Campbell Mitchell, Pastor Shanika Roden Lang, and associate psychologist, Miss Keneen Senior, with MC Marsha Ali Purple Dixon Brown. Get your tickets and register now. General admission $6,000. Group rate for 10 persons or more $5,500 each. Cost includes lunch and conference material. For further information, WhatsApp 876 799 1027 or email Women of Power Improving Nicely at gmail.com. It's the inaugural conference of the Women of Power Improving Nicely. Saturday, November 18. Dress elegantly. Come for a blessing. No matter what I see, I'll be Hey, okay, 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 okay. God is so good. Me say people, me I tell you, say, this is a prayer line, you know. Me I tell you, say, people just need to talk about the things. Um, I ask the question, you want to go to the conference? And somebody just texts me and say, listen, me appeal to Sister Elena. So Sister Elena, you don't have to answer no question. Listen, man, this is a praying line. And you walk up by faith and say, I want to go. And somebody just say, you know what? I am going to sponsor Sister Elena. So big up, big up, big up, big up to that person. And Sister Elena, guess what? You're going to the conference. <laughs> Minister Lee, would you would you believe that I registered yesterday not knowing where I was gonna get the money from to pay, but I registered can yesterday. Can somebody just celebrate God? Glory, glory, glory. We don't, we don't have faith. We said faith what this morning. We can't stay there and shy, shy. I know speak out the thing. And you the woman I got said this morning. I am celebrating you, Sister Elena. You are going to the win conference. We are gonna drive to get that in the Prado, maybe or the vaccine. You know, we're gonna we're gonna take something. <laughs> Bless the Lord. So the question is this morning. I don't know who else you didn't register, but this morning may I tell us I'm feeling Bless already, you know. And the question is this morning. Let me see if I want to sponsor this. Mm. Hold on, people. Somebody texting me. Oh, oh, man. But what my fitness is? <laughs> I see somebody else texting me because they want to go. But the question is this morning is, I know that many persons, you know, you join. Tonight is going to have win. All right. 
also. And I know that persons, you know, you join win the, the sessions on Thursday evening at seven o'clock. And it's really a powerful session. And so you may know a whole lot about win. The question is, um, what is the motto? There's a motto for win. Um, you anyone can tell me the um motto. What things are going, man? Mr. May I get some nice things on my phone here. What? What? <laughs> Anybody can tell why we get so silent in her. <laughs> all right, yeah, all right. Yeah, go ahead, Lady Kedana. Oh, I can't sponsor someone because I won't be able to go, okay? Who oh, they know? Where are they? Where are they? People of God, people of God. Right there, Sister Ked. I know you were going to come through, you know. Me know, me that weird. <laughs> Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. All right, so the next question is, since you guys don't know that one, and well, no, know it, I'm just spending on this thing. In the, in the wind group, my What's your? What? What's your? What's your? Wait. Was it the first answer, earth in the winner in you, or something like that? Um, did, um, no. No, the motto, no, 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 sis, no, no, sis, no, all right, so the next, oh, try again, no, sister A and sister S, please try again, let's see, we know it's a prior line, you know, but it's good, the Lord love them something here, right, so in, in, in the scary, you know, the scary people, them alone, I'm them starving, feed them too, you know, say God is so good, hallelujah. Glory to God. Try again. Anybody else want to try? Embracing. I'm just going to use the word embracing. That's the first part of it. Go ahead. Embracing who we are while morphing into a better self. Are you going to the conference, Lady Marshall? <laughs> no. Are you I have going? an appointment that day. You have what? <laughs> I have an appointment for that day. So who would you like to give this um um the, the, the ticket to? Anyone, <laughs> the person that started. Pardon me. The person that started to answer who was the, the second person. person who said they wanted to go. That person who was the second person. Who was the second person who said that they wanted to go? Sister Sadie, why not? What did you say, Sister Sadie? Me, I didn't say anything. <laughs> I thought your mind was open. I want to go. I want to go. Sister Anjali, all right, what does win mean? Double I N. Can you say? Come anyone? on. Come on. Anyone the meaning. Anyone, anything, anything at all that you can. And the first one or the second one? Because I really did like the first one, you know. Anyone at all? Double I N. Anybody? Anyone? 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 All right. Woman. What did the woman improve? Woman improved. Nice. Nice. Yes. Sister Sandra, sorry. Are you in Jamaica? <laughs> no, I'm just. Man. Somebody to get the ticket. I just want somebody to get the ticket. Sister said you make that work, man. <laughs> what did, did you say? Sorry, um, Sister Led, did Sister Anne Marie say she wants to go? Wants to go. Yeah, my did name's you... fake. Yes, my name's fake. Okay, Sister Anne Marie, you're in Jamaica, right? Yeah. I'm going to bless her with it, Sister Led. Can we celebrate that one again, please? Can we celebrate? Anne Marie, we're going to we're going to win. We're going God. together. Ooh, we're going together. Mother Faster, big boss, big boss, big boss, big boss. <laughs> we bless the Lord. 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 All right. So somebody again, one more, one more, please. One more. Anyone can tell me. The... So Minister Let's, are you going to give somebody the, the ticket from that? I got, and just give it to somebody out there who wants to go. 
Tell them have to answer, sister. We have to make them words. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the woman I got to me and come at the message of this man away. Man, you have to work for it. <laughs> you have to work, you have to try. You uh, have to try. So one more, people of God. One give more. A, give them an easy one. Name one of the speakers. Oh my goodness. Really? Something just coming on. Advertise. <laughs> <laughs> Sister Ini, don't say a word. <laughs> Anyone? Sister Anika? You don't want to come? Sister, Sister Tasha and you don't want to come? I think Sister Anika, I would like to go, Sister Les. I want to go, Sister Tasha and All right, I think Sister, I, I didn't watch this in on Sister Anika. Oh my goodness. Oh, Sister Clayton was the one answering that. If you're not texting me to sponsor anybody to, to go to the conference, do not text my phone. Sorry, but we get excited. I look out All right, Sister, um, so no one knows that answer? And, and um, what's the wind? The blind in? Anyone? Sister Anika? Anyone knows blind in? Blind in? What does that represent? Even you get, you get that answer already, Minister Let. Can you repeat that question? You get that answer already. But the, the, um, remember that she's not here. <laughs> oh. Here. I was asking What does it represent? Minister Let's woman of power improving nicely. Woman of power improving nicely. Sister, um, Pastor, are you going to the conference? I would want to go. So you're going now. So we'll see each other. Praise God. <laughs> Glory. People of God. So that's it. Can we celebrate this woman? Hallelujah. I know that for sure I will be meeting up some persons that I have not seen in a while. And I celebrate you, woman of God, Sister Elena. You're going, you're here for my faith yesterday, and you're register. And you don't know where you're registering, where the money you come from. But God just set you up, woman of God, because you walk by faith. You know, just come on prayer line like that. Listen, man, people of God, God is indeed a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful God. So, who's going to the conference again, Sister Elena, Pastor? Melanie and do again. Again, go ahead. Again, got that price. Anne Marie. And Sister Anne Marie. Sister Eleanor, Sister Anne Marie. Okay. All right. So, Sister Eleanor sponsor, Sister Anne Marie sponsor. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, ladies, see you there at the conference. Bring it, bring, bring, bring a snack for us to eat together in the van while we're going there. Mother Faster, we need to get a big bus. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. I am feeling truly blessed this morning. Good morning, Sister Nicola. I've been looking out for all of you on the Zoom. Oh, my. Oh, <laughs> my. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'll be, the Lord. I'll be wearing my, my, my wind t shirt on Zoom. Right okay. there, right there, woman naked. Right okay. There, right there. So, Sister Nicola, send the um Sister um Melanie, Sister uh, Elena already registered. Sister James, you can just go ahead and register, and just um um what they're gonna write at the the thing to say how they paid. To say paid already, our ticket purchased already. You will know how to fill out the farm. All right. So you guys are winning. Congratulations to you. See you guys there at the win conference. Blessings, blessings, blessings. God is so good this morning. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Sister Anne Marie and Sister Melina, please, please register. All right, yes, wonderful. Wonderful. With that said, people of God, we are going to go right over to the testimony. I think we all can testify, the winners can testify this morning. Bless the Lord. I'm going to ask if there's any testimony online this morning. I'm going to ask you to just go ahead and share your testimony with us so that we may celebrate God with you. Anyone? Morning, morning, morning. 
Good morning, brother Trevor. How are you doing? You know, I asked my eyes today. I did it as a lot. It's better. I drove it in the usual night after I be even. That was what I do about 80 miles and I wanted to park here. Trust me, it's the limit of 55. That's how good I was driving. So I just give thanks. I just give my Jesus name. Bless the Lord, even though you were breaking up a little bit, I think you said something about your eye, and you're seeing clear now. Yes, I, yesterday I asked for prayer, and the young lady prayed for me, and my eyes, I, I don't know, my eyes just got better, <laughs> a lot better, no, no cloudiness, it cleared up, I give God thanks, I appreciate it. Oh, to God be the glory. I celebrate with you, Brother Trevor. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. God is indeed a healer, a sustainer. Anyone else this morning? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I am giving God thanks. God is so good to us. And the little part of the word that I get this morning, I'm so thankful for it because it's reminding us that there is a hell and there is a heaven. A, a, a part of scripture said, remind us that even though it is the same God who carried the children from Egypt, it's the same God who destroyed them in the wilderness because of disobedience. So we are thankful for the word. And I'm asking God to keep my name in the Lamb's Book of Life because that's where I'm working to go. God is so good to me. And I am giving God thanks daily and trying to walk on the right line, the straight and narrow way because so many things is there to to distract us from the real heaven because heaven is real as what she said and hell is real so she reminding us just how early we get the word god are remind us that there is a hell and there's a heaven so anywhere we go today remember keep that whatsoever come with if it distract us remember that there is a hell and there's a heaven and i'm giving god thanks this morning for the prayer that you that i got from you people the baby is born and i'm giving god thanks and i'm just asking for prayer again this morning to keep the baby safe prayer for the baby god bless you in jesus name amen, amen. God be the glory to god be the glory hallelujah god is indeed wonderful hallelujah i celebrate with you lady Pansy. god is indeed wonderful and i celebrate a little life and we pray that the lord will continue to hold that little baby just keep that over this baby in perfect peace. No weapon that form against that baby will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak growth over that child in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What? So what are we going to do? Do you take the you take the sign later on? <laughs> okay, people of God. Anyone else with the testimony? Sandra. Good morning. I'm just giving God thanks to, I asked yesterday for prayer for my daughter-in-law. She was traveling to Canada and to God be the glory. We were a little scared because her pregnancy is well advanced and we didn't, we were contemplating if they would turn her back knowing that her, she's advanced, but to God be the glory, she went through okay and amen i'm just waiting now to hear that my next year though that my little bundle of joy is here so i'm just giving god thanks and thanks for the prayers yesterday god bless you Good morning, everyone. I just want to give God thanks this morning for life. You know, I had some experience during this week. I was on some days of fasting, just want to see God's glory and his presence. But one day I ministered on the platform, and I don't know what I did to the enemy. But Tuesday, <laughs> I had to go to the high doctor 
because something was going on in my eyes. And I spent numerous hours at the high doctor because they were testing to find out what was going on and my glasses was not working. And so they would have to change the lens and so many things happen. And after Tuesday, I went to Allison for half of the little time for fasting and go back to work. I don't know what happened. But by yesterday, Wednesday, while I was going to work, and I was, I took out the car from the garage. I was going back to shut the gate. I fell. I hurt my feet. And I had to go to the doctor yesterday because the right leg, that is the one that I use for driving, the right leg was so swollen. I had to use the left one. And my husband is not around. And when I, when I had that fall, I was saying, my God, I can't even get up because my weight was on it. And I said, devil, what did I do to you? <laughs> this morning, this morning, I am still having pain, but thanks be to God, it's not broken. And I am still seeing. And when I was last night, I said, devil, I am going to prayer meeting, whether you like it or not. And I went. And while I was there, the scripture said, after Jesus came from fasting, he was tempted of the enemy. I don't know what I did to him, why he wants to either blind me and it never worked. And then he said, I'm going to broke your foot, broke but your it foot. never worked. But thanks be to God today. The name, the, the, blood, the, blood the, the name of Jesus. The blood, the blood of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Ah, God. Hallelujah. Can we surround the woman of God at this moment? In the name of Jesus. 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 We back her up. We back her up. Yes, God. We feel her up again under your covenant, God. The blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. We send healing. We send healing to her eyes, her legs. Oh, God. We check the rubbish. Jesus. 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 In the name of in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth fire surround your dark in the name of Jesus either under the blood even now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth mighty God we seal up every warrior on this line every preacher oh God those will love God mighty God on this line in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the very, very plan of the enemy in the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus Christ, Lord of Nazareth, mighty God, cover your people God. under your blood in the name yes, of Jesus God. Christ Jesus. of Nazareth. Idos, Lord, Idos. I do divine God. I do from the, the enemy. In the name yeah, of Jesus, I was not to God. be afraid. In the name yeah. of Jesus Christ of Hallelujah. Nazareth. Mighty Mighty God. God. Sheel us, sheel us, sheel us, Lord. Sheel us, sheel us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Sheel us, sheel us, sheel us. Hallelujah. 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 No weapon. That farm again shall prosper. They can farm, oh, but they can't shoot down the arrows of the enemy. Ali the was there laying down, couldn't move, oh, but they could not prosper. Oh, they could oh, not God. take his life oh, in the name Jesus, of Baba. Jesus Christ. Of Jesus, Jesus, Women Jesus. and men of God will not be afraid to oh, say, Dust in the Lord, because of the threat of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ Jesus. of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Oh, Almighty, God Almighty, you see what you're doing is real. If what you were yes. doing was not of God, the enemy would not fight. Boy, because what boy. you're doing is real. That is the reason why he's fighting. Mighty God, whenever the enemy have you in the fight, he My doesn't God. fight. 
So yes, you are ready. You're not getting a fight. Ask yourself what is wrong with you. Ask My God. yourself where you are with God. Because I'm My telling God. you, I are your client, man. Hello. My God. Hello. My God. Mighty God. When I pray that the Lord will cover you on this line. Every words that you say in the name of just fire will come out of your mouth into sister. War God, war God, war God. The enemy will be afraid of you, and you will not be afraid of the enemy. I know oh, that the enemy tries to stand for many us, God, of this line. You're afraid to pray because Jesus some things will be after you pray. But in the name of Jesus, cover your daughters yes. even now Jesus and your sons war, God. under the wings. Oh God Almighty, under your wings on protection in the name yes. of Jesus. Jesus. I just feel like fighting this morning. Yes. Mighty God Come on. will not silence you. I see the no. enemy silence a whole lot of people on this line. They can't say nothing on this oh line. God. But yes. win in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I will not be silent. I will no, always, always worship, worship you. Always. When you put me on the cross, me I go worship. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Sister Donnery, actually. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. I'm going to ask, is there anyone else with a testimony online? Is there anyone else with a testimony online? Yes, sis. Morning, everybody. Um, so I did my CT scan yesterday. I'm not sure if I asked anybody to pray or if I had mentioned it, but I knew that I took up my sword and glory be to That's God right. the result. And all tumors are shrinking. So I'm just giving God praise and I'm giving God glory because God is a faithful God. And I am just, I'm just happy. And I'm letting everybody know there's nothing God cannot do. The season might be long and we might feel like, boy, tiring. It has been tiring, but we just have to push on through. My God. Minister Led, good morning. Good morning. My beautiful sister. She's overcoming by the word of her testimonies. She's overcoming. If I almost every day, she has a testimony. And that's what the word of God has taught us that we must share our testimony. And if you realize every morning she share is a victory testimony. God is honoring her and he will always, he will continue to honor her according to his will. Keep on keeping on, my sister. We continue to pray you up. It shall be well. My Thank God. you. Thank you. I might not come online and shout. Well, I might sometime. But yes. I do it in the confines of my home and my bedside. Yes. You know, and I tell you. Right. Yep. Keep on keeping on, sister. Bless the Lord. Keep saying, you know, we all love you. Mighty God, seven and forty-five of us and many more. Many more. Look in the in the faith. Oh, sister Christine. All of them. Thank you for us. You're stepping on it for you. My God, my God, you give you are giving us so much hope, Sister Christine. So much hope. Oh my God. Yes. God. Hallelujah. And da, da, da. so we're gonna go right over to the prior request this morning. See if there's any purpose. Can I make? Oh, can they? Oh, oh, bless the Lord. Um, so we're gonna take the the prior request this morning. If there's anyone with any request, I know that persons will type some in the chat. So go ahead and do so at this. I'm just feeling blessed this morning. I am feeling blessed, blessed, blessed. Also, remember, people of God, those who are in Canada, they um you can join. Or the conference on Zoom. Okay. Can join. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Jenny. So you do. Well, I'm just asking for prayer requests. I'm still blessed and highly favored. So I'm asking prayer requests for myself. Wonderful. Okay. Remind me of your daughter's name again, to Sister Jenny, both of them. Ashley and Felicia. Thank you. Anyone else? 
Good morning, good morning, good morning, Sister Alex. I am asking for prayer for my cousin, Etta. He is in the rehab. He cannot walk over a month now. He, he cannot walk. So, you know, he, the doctor said that he had um information in the joints and muscle and everything so he cannot walk. So, you know, I'm just asking for prayer for him, you know, that God will, you know, heal him speedily because he's supposed to come out of the rehab on the 15th of this month, but he still cannot walk. He can stand up on his own. And so, so you know, I'm just asking for prayer. I know one shall chase a, two, a thousand, but two shall put 10,000 to fight. So with everybody playing, I know God will heal him speedily. Thank you so much. Listen, I just want to say the um, greetings to Sister Maria, Sister um, Alga, and Sister Patricia. I see you there over um, YouTube channel. Blessings to you and good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Anyone else this morning? Great. Good morning, great morning, people of God. I'm asking for prayer for Sasha Dawkins. She resides in England. Um, she's a teacher, and I'm asking for prayer as well for Mrs. Ellis, her mother, because um, she has been in the hospital to take out just a small thing, and right now she is in the hospital for heart failure. She was there to take out just a small thing out of her colon and only to know that from that day until now she's still in the hospital from August until now she's in the hospital and no one knows what is happening her her body is deteriorating so I'm asking you for prayer for her as well God bless you Good morning, Sister Sherika. Anyone else this morning? All right, so if there's no other. Okay. Okay. Great. In the chat there, in the chat there, in the chat. Oh, mighty goodness. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. We lift you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sister Anne-Marie James, are you able to pray for the prayer request this morning? <clears throat> Lady Anne-Marie? Yes, Minister. Are you able to pray, sis? Yeah. All right, thank you, woman of God. Over to you. Father, we bless your name. We worship you, my good God. You are worthy to be Praise, my good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Word to be glorified. We magnify your mighty name. Oh, magnify the Lord. With me, let us exalt your name. Hallelujah. We thought you were on the earth and the river and all of us ears. And so this morning I come to you, God, in no other name but in your name. Hallelujah. At your name of a name, must Oh God, I never tongue can say that you are God, and you are God all by yourself. And so, my God, I come before you as a humble servant in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty God, I pray that you take full control. I pray that you cover me under your blood in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm a very cover my family. I declare the global coverage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of the mighty God. Oh, God Almighty, I'm about to the first day, Daniel prayer. Ah, the Prince of Persia, all on this earth, but we come against the Prince of Persia this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of the mighty God, I approach the first heaven, Louis is currently written. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I enter the second heaven with the demonic realm. I shoot the blood of Jesus Christ. In that heaven, if a demon to give way to this prayer, I shoot the blood in the demonic realm. Second heaven, I 
tear tie you this morning. My God, I take off charity in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over the demonic realm. The second heaven, I take off charity in the name of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood, I cut upon the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the name of Jesus. My God, enter the church. Even you know, I declare and declare that my prayer will go up. Nothing by any means will stop this prayer. In the name of Jesus, oh Governor, pray deliverance will take place. My God, miracle will take place. In the name of Jesus, healing will be take place. With the healing of children's bread, I am not just take the children's bread, give it to the dog. And so this morning, I come today. I Come this morning, oh God, I say, man, I'm to pray and not change in the name of Jesus Christ of now and this morning. I place, oh hallelujah, that my God, your man is in the rehab in the name of Jesus Christ of now. My God, information in the joints, we come against the demon of information. We can't feel, I come on to draw you from the root. To ever join, try my try your root in the name of Jesus. The information spirit, I command you to deceive from this man's body in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to that young man, take up your bed and walk this morning. Take up your bed and walk this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of Mary, mighty God this morning, I declare that you touch him. Oh God Almighty, I command your healing power, your healing virtue to flow in the name of Jesus Christ of Mary, mighty God, I pray that you take over his body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Mary, my God, I pray for Christian. Oh God, I was not feeling well this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of Mary, my God, I put her before you, mighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Mary, you know, oh God, oh God, what is the condition? And to a place of the full of my God this morning, let your healing power flow. My God, you were wounded for transgression, you were bruised for our iniquity, the chastisement, oh God, for the people upon her and by your tribe. She is healed. We come on healing. We come on deliverance this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Of Mary. My God, I put her for oh, Anne Marie John in this work and she's asking for purpose. Help. My God, you know all about her. I don't know nothing about her, but I pray for her. God, that she's asking for her. If it's secret healing, if it's financial. Oh God, deliver our God. If you, oh God, whatever the situation may be, oh God, I come to a rescue this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God. I pray, hallelujah, that you come through in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God of morning, I pray, oh God Almighty, for Claudia Mother, oh God Almighty, oh hallelujah, mighty God of morning, I put her before with the rest in prayer, oh God for us, thank you. oh God, she's giving us time my God Almighty, this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, go before and we are man, God, and I put that be straight. Be the doctor, God, be the nurse. God Almighty, this morning, God, do the operation, God. I place her on the operating table. My God, you do it, God. Let your will be done. If it's not your will, but you to do it, let your will be done. In the name of Jesus Christ of Mother, my God, this morning, and so this morning, I pray for you to give her a meditation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God is morning. Hey, hallelujah. My God, I put it was a thousand this morning. Oh, God, I'm not perfect. We do honor you. Fire, Lord God, somebody is calling. We do who is doing it. 
Oh God, I'm my own chicken. I'm doing Lord, by you know what you're doing. And oh God, I'm my God, that person is for you in the middle of my dream. We go to trauma. God Almighty, I put a person in front in the name of Jesus, when I come in metaphors, my God, I pray for you know that person is for and so this morning, I pray that prayer in your hand, in the spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God, hallelujah, I just a group of us in prayer, God Almighty, for you of Jamaica, oh God Almighty, and for me, Oh God in the church, oh the Lord. I put the youth of Jamaica before you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I put the church family before you. I put the taxi driver before you as you pass in with credit. Oh God and mercy. I bless the youth, the young man of God of you because you're strong. I put the youth before you because you know all the young people. You to put a stop on and the fruit of darkness. God Almighty, we are praying. You know, God, we are talking different platform. We pray for the youth. We pray for the children. My God, it's a good chase at all that. I'm a good push. And you put that up down on the flag. And so we come in unity, God. And one is the fear of the partition. Every wall, everything that the enemy is. Up against the two people, against the third family, against the taxi men, God Almighty, the time they kidnap the taxi men, God, you don't know nothing, you don't hear of them, you don't know where they are. My God Almighty, the family member can have the body to bury. I'm so in the youth, I rise in the church, I rise in the for the top to me. God, in the name of Jesus Christ of another, I raise God Almighty in the name of Jesus Christ of another. Oh, hallelujah, mighty God. I rise. Hallelujah. My God, I pray to you to the company deliver and brought you in the name of God Almighty. In the Oh, in the name of Jesus and those who have to pray, Lord, my God, I'm not, 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 not remember all of them. But you know, I don't have to know or remember. But I pray this morning, oh God, that you come to, oh God, that God, that, that, that you come to, that you People, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God Almighty, God, I call you up, my God, I call you up, my God, I'm a people beyond for deliverance, for healing, for breakthrough, I call for miracle, my yeah, in the name of Jesus. Right up, mother, mighty God of morning. Oh, hallelujah, this morning, Lord. My God, those who open their mouth, not the request. My God of morning, come true, God. Come true, God. I call up because you are a human being, God. You say we are a shepherd, and we stand at one. And so, my God is mighty. I put them before you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my God Almighty. Intervene upon the life of your people. Intervene. Intervene, God. Come true, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. My God Almighty, let your healing virtue flow in this platform. Let your healing virtue run through this platform. Let your healing virtue run through the life of your people. Let your healing virtue flow to our home. Let your healing virtue flow to our environment. This morning upon this platform. Healing God. Ah, God, I call deliverance, God. Great you, hallelujah, for your people, I mean, 
in the name of Jesus Christ, my God, my God is morning, Lord, my prayer, my God is morning, even on the poor, even on the poor, God, come true, come true, God, my God is a year who are walking in the body of the Son of death, we shall turn our heat, because we are with us, and the more are with us, that more that are not getting to the time in in the name of Jesus Christ, when the children of Israel are trying to take them to the Red Sea, my God Almighty, when Pharaoh army was behind them, my God in the open the sea, my God is trying true, come true for your people, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God Almighty. Oh, hallelujah, God. Father, we give you honor this morning, God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ, we call this the fear of divine fear. My God, in the name of spirit, we have a fear of spirit. God Almighty, that want to kill the young boy. Lord, God, in the name of God, they were seeking after Jesus. Him. Ah, come again, the spirit of fear, oh, blood of Jesus. Ah, God Almighty, we put our young men, we put our young boys. God, God, when I look in the church, we see a woman, God, we are the men. And so this morning, I put the men, I pull them out of the rumbar. I pull them out of the rumbar, I pull them out of the prostitution and dead. I pull them out of the alcohol. I pull them out of nicotine. I pull them out, God, of blood. My God, you can manifest our God. Just like you are the head of the church, man, you want to be the head. But Lord God, something Lord, something happened. My God, just like in Genesis, oh God, this is the point of the Hallelujah, Jesus, God, my God, and you give me my dominion. But Lord God, my God, I love you. My God, my God, God, we should not go to different direction. For this morning, I please before you. My God, there's supposed to be the end. My God, and my we place them in the head. God, we take man from the back. I pull man from the back. Lord God, I pull man from the back. God, I pull them in the front where they're supposed to be in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, man must love their husband, subject yourself to the woman of God, man to love their wife, and for the small and the and we come again to speak to abuse in the womb. In the name of Jesus, it's a while ago. You spirit of abuse. Lord God, man is supposed to love the wife. The Bible tells him, woman is supposed to come with yourself. We are all us bound. And we come again to speak to abuse in the We say that to the habit of when we came. In the name of Jesus. Christ of Nazareth, my God, we give you honor and we give you praise this morning, God, oh God Almighty, whatever person that have come this morning on the platform, we put them in your soul, God, we place them in your hands, God, we put them in your fear this morning, you know, and credit you to coverage over all of us this morning, we come against the of attack, we can't flee you, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Of Nazareth, my God, it's mine. We put wind before you, Lord God Almighty. Put a conference before you, mighty God. Go before me. 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 To be theater, we take our country over that region. God, God, the country to us keep. We take our country over that region. We bury the strong man over that region. We put us out of it to the abyss. My God, I come and feed them in the conference. My God, I might. I declare and declare that the people who are respected are to receive. In the name of Jesus, your word. I come and. Oh God, I come and give God a word in 
Oh, in the name of Jesus. I come on you to get one day. In the name of Jesus Christ. Radical friendship. Oh, God, I like this one. In the name of Jesus Christ. Over a people. My God, I like this. I rejoice from that region. Of a from that region. Of a in from that region. In the name of the spirit. That is not a God. We drive from that region. So come on, I'm free slow in the name of Jesus Christ of another. God got about and the constraint. We come apart and equal judgment. Ever attack. My God constant in this country translate. In the name of Jesus. I never talk to this spirit that I never negative word that I spoke about this conference. We will the blood of Jesus and we talk to the happiness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Arise in this conference. Arise, God. Arise. 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 Children, those who are children on this platform, digital children, my God Almighty, children at birth, but in birth, my God Almighty, that is a child, you home, that is them, that child, my God in the hand, this one, over our children, as they go to school, those who go to work, those who go to school, my God Almighty, of them, from Kidnapped from away from incest, my God, come with them in government scheme of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ of Mother. We declare the kingdom of God for our children. Oh God Almighty, mighty God Almighty, come with them as they go to school in the name of the from angel. We come with angel. In the name of Jesus, come against the blood sucking demons. My God, come on, children. In the name of Jesus, we will not lost one of the children. We will not lost our children. Hey God, we will not lose one of our children. God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, none of us on this platform will die. None of us on this platform will die. We can't just put our faith, Lord God. We bind the None of us will die of this platform blown up. I come on an accident. There's a true accident. Shabon Kulubusha. In the name of Jesus Christ. We come on an accident. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus of Nazareth. None of us will be lost. We shall live, or we shall not 
Why? We got to decree the word of the Lord, my God. So this morning, going out, those who are to work, cover us, Lord, God, cover us comprehensively in the name of Jesus Christ of Mary, Lord God Almighty. We thank you this morning for the sponsor of God, those who sponsor it when we for the conference we thank them we put them in the hands we thank you for the system not god answer not god pray my god make make way to them my god do a concern for the blessing with the chronic are breaking over them and prophets are blessing as they have blessed us god give back to them break down shaking together and running over in the name of jesus and the crown declare that Mary will give it to their bosom. Lord God, we have a declare and declare an open door in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we thank you this morning. We give you honor this morning. Father, we bless your name this morning, God, because you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be exalted, God. Father, we glorify you. Magnified, and let us exalt you, God. We God, we exalt you this morning, and we give you praise, and we lift you this morning for what you're about to do and what you've done already. We thank you for your healing power. We thank you for your deliverance. We thank you for your breakthrough this morning. God, God, we thank you for the testimony. We thank you. Oh, God, I'm mountain. We thank you. Those who are in the bed of affliction, we raise and heal with. Arrive and healing wings this morning. Get in your side and healing wings this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of the Lord. And so we bless your name this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. We come against the natural crumbs. We would have Jesus. Every mental crumb dry up this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of Mother, ever bleeding twice and dry up this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of Mother, we come against the last memory. Jesus, we come out of the dry from the room. We send it to the top this morning. In the name of Jesus, we come against the of my grave. Jesus Christ, we come against the problem. Lord God, this morning, my God, see us. I've got to speak to the womb in the name of Jesus Christ of Mother. I speak to the womb that is not functioning. I speak to this morning. I speak to the womb that is not functioning this morning. Lord God, I'm coming to function. I speak over the womb. Function, Lord God. Shine this morning, no function. In the name of Jesus, we might the fruit and the blood of the Lamb this morning. Oh God, we thank you for leading. And we thank you, God. We give you praise. And we honor this morning. Oh God, I'm going to this prayer. And the prayer that I've been praying from five o'clock. We see it in the blood this morning. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, and so we come and do this. Uh, and we say amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah, blessing and honor. I turn back to the selected here of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. God, can we just cover Sister Anne Marie, people of God? Those who are here, can we just cover her under the blood of Jesus? Hallelujah. Cover your daughter, mighty God. Cover your daughter. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you. 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 Thank
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Mary for ministering in our life this morning. Blessings the bless the Lord to all those sponsors and to all those who are going to the Wing Conference. May the Lord bless you and keep you all. For those who are on the YT channel, I just want to say bye. Take care. See you tomorrow morning at 5 p.m. <laughs> 5 a.m. 